Hi, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize the uh, starter culture that you will receive in the mail or that you're going to buy for 100 pesos. The first part is to make sure that all your instruments are uh, germ-free. So, the first thing to do is to soak all instruments, then it focus jars for 30 minutes in 10% Clorox which is a disinfectant and then after 30 minutes soaking you wash it three times with water so in this instance we now have our instrument our spoon and this has been sterilized already it's just water and then the kuji is your starter culture and this is the sterilized uh, medium that you introduce to the to the starter culture actually this is just plain water with sugar and sterilized and then you add it to the kuji so that the organism will multiply so the first thing you do is to remove the the tape there you save this for the when the job is already finished and then you open this and then you add the medium that's it you don't need much all you need is a little bit of the water and then you close this again Then you shake this for to dislodge the organism that is growing in the in the in the bottle in the jar. Then you leave this for maybe six hours to make sure that the organism is detached and it is it is present in the liquid portion. Now this is your uh, the medium that you're going to use for inoculating the grain or the liquid that you're going to reproduce this is the you need two tablespoons of sugar you will note that everything has to be covered so that there will be no contamination so you add two tablespoons of sugar Yeah. Then you put this back to make sure that it's still aseptic. Now, after you have done that, make sure that your hands are clean. You use seventy percent alcohol. So let's assume it's already after six hours so you remove the cover then you add a little bit of the liquid from the starter culture that's good enough one teaspoon or less then you put this back and then you make sure that you seal again your pure culture your starter culture then after this has been covered you make sure that it's sealed so that the insects fruit flies or flies cannot enter into your medium 
you need to stay for you need to stay for maybe 48 hours then you would note that bubble formation would start to form then this is the one now that you use to inoculate other other uh, fruits or vegetables that you want to ferment for instance this is a sample of uh, lanzones. Uh, we introduce uh, like a teaspoon of this to this and now it's fermenting. See? And then this is another sample. It's a combination of adlai and black rice and you would note that fermentation is proceeding rapidly and those are examples of uh, fruits that you can ferment into wine. Other ways of propagating it would be to add to a grain, for instance, rice or corn, because in this instance, kuji is very good for making miso and kuji itself, which is a uh, breakfast cereal that the Japanese use. So, in this event, this uh, starter culture, you can keep it in the cabinet, your kitchen cabinet. Never put it inside the refrigerator because the refrigerator is too cold for the organism and it will make the organism go dormant. This is enough protection to lessen the possibility of contamination and you would note if your starter culture gets contaminated because there would be different growths on the surface the most common is uh, the black mold you commonly find that in bread and also the other one is penicillium uh, its color is green so if there are fungus growing that are contaminants, in most cases, they are not whitish or yellowish. Most of them are either black or green. So that ends the, the lecture on how to utilize the starter culture that we are selling online. And also at the, at the farmer's market, at the capital, in Isamas Oriental. Thank you.